Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today we're going to do something awesome. We're going to cut open a fuel filter that has 300,000 miles on it. For those of you who don't know, this is my 95 Ford Windstar. My family's owned this thing since it's been brand new. And the cool thing about this van, check out that odometer, 305,000 miles and it's still running strong. Since I've had this car since brand new, I know all the service that's been done to it and it's never had a fuel filter change. 300,000 miles on the same fuel filter is crazy, and I cannot wait to cut it open to see what it looks like. So not only are we cutting open a 300,000 mile fuel filter in my van, we're gonna cut open a 130,000 mile fuel filter from my pickup truck, and then a 30,000 mile fuel filter from my Corvette. So these three fuel filters should give us a really neat idea of what a fuel filter looks like at 30, 130, and 300,000 miles. Now the fuel filter on this van is located right in front of the rear driver's side tire. And to get under there, I'm gonna use some ramps. Now that she's up with the engine running, we're gonna go and pop the hood. And go over to the fuse box. And remove the fuse for the fuel pump. So the engine will stall out, just like that. And just to be safe, always block off your tires. So if the car does try to roll, it'll stop. Now we could go slide underneath the van because all the fuel pressure has been released. That way is the front of the van and tucked right on the inside of the frame rail is where the fuel filter is hiding. Another safety tip, anytime you're working on the fuel system, wear your goggles. You don't want fuel in your eyes. And have a fire extinguisher ready just in case. Better to be safe than sorry. Now get your quick disconnect tool and let's disconnect these fuel lines. I'll pop that clip up. Good. And I'm using a flathead screwdriver to help give me leverage as I wedge this quick disconnect tool into the fuel line. And now the fuel line should slide right off. And it's that easy. So let's go do the other side. If you want more information on how to remove the fuel filters, I have a video specifically for this. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Now I'm going to take the filter out of the holder. Good. And the hose will come right off. Out with the old, in with the new. You want to pay attention to the flow direction because it's important you orient this correctly. Installation is even easier. You just slide the fuel line over the fuel filter fitting. Don't forget to push the clip back in and when you hear it click, test the connection by giving it a little wiggle. Beautiful. Now one last step. I like to write the mileage on the filter so if you forget the last time you changed the filter, now you can check it. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see what the fuel filter is going to look like after 20 years and 305,000 miles. Let's cut this baby open. Alright, so here's everything we're going to be looking at. We have the 300,000 mile van filter, we have the 130,000 mile truck filter, and we have the 30,000 mile vet filter. I also have a brand new filter that I cut open for you guys so that you could see what a new filter looks like so that we actually have something to compare against. So this is a brand new filter. You can see how it works. The fuel comes in this way and then it gets blocked here and has to go through the filter in order to come out this way. So we're going to get all our dirt and stuff in these pleats. And in order to cut this open, I can't use a cutoff tool like I normally would. Instead, I'm going to have to go manual and use a handsaw and then hopefully this won't create any sparks because any sparks next to fuel filters which are filled with gasoline is not going to be a good thing. So I have to be super careful. Now I'm going to move everything out of the way and we're going to start with our van 300,000 mile fuel filter. So the first thing to do is I want to empty the filter and see if anything comes out. On this filter the flow is going that way so everything is going to get caught on this side. So we're going to remove this and let it all drain out. Holy smokes. Look at all that dirt and debris that's coming out. That's supposed to be clear gasoline and that is disgusting. So we can really get a good idea of how dirty this is. I got some cups. Now look at that. That was all in the fuel filter. After 300,000 miles, it's amazing this didn't get into the fuel injectors. Now just to give you something to compare this dirty gas to, here's what gasoline should look like. So here's a good and bad comparison. Look at that, what a difference. I cannot believe how horrible the gas is that came out of here. Now let's get to the good part and cut this baby open. Just crack it open. Oh man, this is it. 20 years and 300,000 miles on this filter. 
Now check out the difference between the brand new filter and the old one. Amazing. That's interesting. They tied a rope around the filter for some reason. This thing is dirty. I'm surprised because I thought the filter material would be soft and break apart pretty easily. And actually, it's kind of hard and it's holding up pretty strong. Although it is black. I spread the filter pleats apart and you can see this filter is jammed with dirt. I'm surprised fuel could even get through this filter. So we know visually that this 300,000 mile fuel filter looks clogged, especially when you compare it to the brand new filter. So what I'm doing here is I designed a flow test to see the difference in flow between the old fuel filter and the new fuel filter. I have even amounts of gasoline here that I'm gonna pour up into the top here and then this will flow through the fuel filter due to gravity and we'll see if there's any difference in flow between the two. Now I need to do my best to pour these at the same time. Good. And look at that, wow, the old filter is not flowing at all, while the new filter is flowing great, as expected. This is an awesome example of how an old dirty filter could reduce fuel flow. Imagine how hard that fuel pump has to work to force fuel through this. I mean look at that difference, the old fuel filter is barely flowing, while the new fuel filter pretty much passed all the fuel through it already. And this test proves that the brand new fuel filter flows way better than the old fuel filter. So 300,000 miles versus brand new. There you go, that's what a 300,000 mile fuel filter looks like. Now we know what the 300,000 mile fuel filter looks like, let's go check out the 130,000 mile fuel filter in my truck. And now my truck has been abused. Before I got it, the guy did not take care of it, so this is gonna be interesting. This is also the original fuel filter. <laughs> And check this out. Dang, this is black too. Interesting, this filter uses an O-ring design and you can see it fits right onto that base right in there. And look at this filter, it's also very dirty. There's a large piece of debris that luckily got caught by the filter because you know this would clog the injector. I'm just gonna cut open the filter material to see what it looks like inside because I'm pretty curious. Now, again, the filter material itself is harder than I expected, it's not mush. And look at the difference between the inside of the filter material versus the outside with all the trapped debris. So that's what a 130,000 mile fuel filter looks like. Let's go check out the 30,000 mile fuel filter from the vet. Okay, now that's more like it. Finally a filter that's not black. So we do have some rust that got caught by the filter, which is shocking because this filter only has 30,000 miles on it. But the filter itself looks really good. There's no visible debris between the pleats. Now what can we learn from these results? Well, 30 to 100,000 miles is when you want to change your fuel filter. And just to give you an idea, I live in an area in the United States where the gas is relatively clean. I mean, if you look at this, we went 300,000 miles on a single fuel filter. And the fuel injectors, the fuel pump, all that stuff is original. Luckily, the fuel filter did its job and kept out all this stuff from the fuel injectors because that'll clog your injectors. And now that being said, we have our brand new filter. When you compare it to a 30,000 mile filter, you can see 30,000 miles, the filter still has plenty of life. Now if we look at our 130, well, now you'd want to change it. So anywhere between 30 and 100,000 miles is when you'd want to change your fuel filter. Me personally, I'll be changing it 50 to 75,000 miles after doing this test. Now hopefully you learned something new and enjoyed the video. Fuel filters are something that people don't normally check out. Not many people are going to cut open a fuel filter that could explode in your face. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I do cool stuff like this all the time and you wouldn't want to miss out. And the top tip for this video is, well, we're actually going to have some fun. Here's that old disgusting fuel that came out of the original fuel filter. And I'm going to go pour it into the new fuel filter to see if it actually filters it out. You can actually see the fuel filter collecting all that dirt. Check that out. So you can see all that dirt and grime and stuff actually got collected by this fuel filter. And if we look at the actual fuel that made it through, it's definitely a lot cleaner than it was, but it's still not even close to how actual fuel is supposed to look. The fuel filter does work, but it doesn't work perfect. But then again, that's not gonna clog your injectors. So it did its job.